Stop scrolling. You got some ugly cabinets. Hang around, we're gonna show you how to fix we're them. Using our surface prep deglosser, and I'm gonna show you the great way to get your cabinet ready to paint or your piece of furniture. It's fantastic for cleaning away grease and oils and stubborn things that you can't get off of your cabinets. And no smell and uh, all water soluble products that we're using here today. This is going to etch the surface and it is going to hold and bond, giving you an extreme durable surface. Put on the deglosser, just take your little scrub sponge, just something to help you get in there and scrub the best you can around your kitchen, especially even in a bathroom where you may have hairspray and things like that building up on your surface. Even oils where people touch around the handles. You sometimes see your finishes begin to fail there. Green towel, go in there and this is brand new. So that's something else let's talk about. This just came out of the box, but that doesn't mean that it's clean and ready to paint. It has a silicone and that says a mold release that's put on to new surfaces. Want to be sure and get that off. That is equally as important. It's also considered to be a grease and it will prevent paint from bonding. So you want to be sure and wipe that off. If you have loose or peeling paint, you want to be sure and remove that because the new paint won't stick if the old one is letting go. We're going to be using the beautiful color London here. The paint's going to paint several of these vanities we're looking at here. Actually, you can do it with an eight ounce sample. You want to go in there and take a spoon, take something from your, you can take a plastic spoon, even a, a spoon from your drawer there, and just wash it off when you're finished. Again, these are water soluble, non-toxic paint products. Get in there and give it a good stir and agitate. You can see all of that beautiful color and all of that richness that's coming from the bottom. You can actually feel it with your stir stick that there's some thickening in the bottom and you want to turn that into the top liquids of the paint. That's going to give you the best um, adhesion and the best overall look for the product as you begin to put it on. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy technique that anyone can do, no matter what experience level you have. I've taped off everything here. Got the wall taped off. Got my floor taped off. And you can use your rag to set your paint on or get some newspaper and spread it out, whatever you want to do. And again, I'm going to use the brush and roll technique. I'm going to show you how to do that on the outside of the door as well as on the end. I'm going to brush this whole door out right here. Once you brush on a good full coat like we have here, you can see it's not running, but it's not a, not a dry brush. Let me show you the don't do's. This is not how you paint, okay? You see that? See the difference? And what I put on, it's a lot of people want to say this is their first coat right here, and they can't figure out why they can't get brush and roll to work, because that's what they're doing, okay? Using this dry little tiny roller, you just go over this. See a little bubble starting to happen? That means there's a little bit too much paint in that area. Not a big deal. You just keep rolling until you see those subside. Take your roller, roll right down into that little reservoir there. Let it just begin to roll itself out, making sure you get it all as even as possible. Okay, you're gonna open the door back and do all that really nicely too. And I'm gonna work in one area first. Take your time, paint it, just don't get in a rush. Put on that first good coat. Now, once this begins to dry, 15, 20 minutes from now, maybe 30, depending on how humidity is in your area and all that, if it's raining outside or whatever, it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry. Then you're ready once it's dry to the touch, you'll start to see the sheen go away. And that way you know you're ready for the second coat. And two coats is gonna do it right here. You're gonna see the beautiful sheen and the low luster sheen this paint has. So now I hope that was a good example for you to see right there that that is what a lot of people do for their first coat and they say they can't understand why they can't get the paint to level or whatever. That's the problem. And also there's the opposite of that. When you get a lot of texture or orange peel in the paint, that means you're trying to put on too much in your first coat. So you kind of kind of there's a mid ground there. pressure is just that. Very, very light. See how I'm not denting the roller? I'm going in here. I'll float on one side. That's it right there. So I'm going to my project with that right there. I'm going to get this paint to lay on, okay? So let's just go in here and roll this. <laughs> 
whatever will blend it. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take out those lines that I just put in this way. Everything that it needs to have in it, it's built into the paint. It has its own bonding primer and it's a superior primer above and beyond a primer that you would go out and buy. That's why we don't want you to use the primer because the bond of the paint is established right here, right here, this first coat going on. If you were to use a primer, kills or what have you, then you put the paint on. Your bond was established with a kills primer. Then the paint would sit on top of the kills. So that's why it's best to use this product as the bond because it is a superior bond. You can use your vanity, you can use your cabinets uh, in a couple days. You just don't want to get in there and scrub them or wet them because paint, all water-based paints are made of water and that needs to kind of have the time to dry out before it begins to reach its durability, you'll find that this is the most durable paint out there that you've ever used. But don't take it from me. Get the free sample, try it for yourself. We'll have to cure, then you can do your scratch test and see. Coat two going on. I'll see if I can get that on both doors. Handles back on tonight. Uh, give it a couple hours. Make sure everything's firmed up really well. Put the handles on, but you don't want to start getting water on it and that kind of thing until it's set a couple days. But you could use it. Just don't wet the paint because remember, paint is made up of water that has to leave, and then the paint is left on the surface. But until that water leaves, it's soft. And uh, if you put on several coats of paint, then it takes a little longer to dry. 